And a developing story tonight where we saw several firefighters responding to a fire and there were injuries. WJ's Andrea Medina has the very latest on this story. Andrea. Hi there. So the firefighter who is being treated here has been on the job for nearly three decades. At last check, he is in serious condition and we're told that two other firefighters are expected to be OK. Dark smoke, just unbelievable. I've never seen a anything like that in all my life. A neighbor's cell phone video capturing large amounts of heavy smoke coming from a burning house in Norwood Park on Friday. At first it looked like there was smoke in the back, but then they were on the roof and they were um, cutting holes in the roof. And when they opened the front door, I've never seen so much smoke in my life. There was a massive police and firefighter presence as they were called to the scene near Cumberland and Balmoral. Fire officials say three firefighters were hurt. One can be seen on a stretcher. He was conscious as he was being wheeled away. Fire officials say two are doing very well. They go on to say one is in serious condition at Loyola Medical Center and has been with the department since the 90s. I've never seen so many firefighters, so many fire trucks. So it was a very big response and it was a bad fire. Fire crews quickly got the flames under control. Damage to the home was invisible except for the windows that were shattered. One of the homeowners was inside the time of the fire and was able to get out safely. One woman describes hearing him scream. All of a sudden I've heard my neighbors screaming, my house is on fire, my house, like something with the basement. It's not clear how the fire started, but neighbors say it was a sight they don't see every day. So it was literally smoke on the back of the house, on the roof. That was it. And then we like, we've seen like the firefighters, you know, took into action. They just jump on the roof. Now, the extent of the damages are still unknown and the cause of the fire remains under investigation. We're live outside Loyola Medical Center. Andrea Medina, WGN News. Thanks for that, Andrea.